Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! We have to go back to the Hotcha Springs to complete the secret levels of this place. So let's go over to 2-5 and start with secret 1, which we've already started. And what do you have to say about this place, Mo? Come on, stuff. More boulders? You gotta do you you gotta do this alone? No thanks, but I'm not. <laughs> no, alright, but don't be expecting me to help push. But I'm not too pleased to have to deal with these again. <sighs> Let's tear off that band-aid quickly. <laughs> uh, is it possible for me to sneak under here? It is, but I can't really get anything from this. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna have trouble getting out of here, aren't I? This is a Starly-only area, or at least it's supposed to be. I guess it is sort of a starly only area either way, even though I can sneak my way in there because I can't get the prizes that entail me from the starly only area. And I really should keep the boulder more towards the ground if I, if I can. <laughs> oh great, current plus boulder. Uh, starly area, so that's for her to do and for me to not do. I'm going to... Oh, no! I can't get through this current with my current star spin, so this is going to be... Quite the track. And I've got. Oh shoot! I didn't hit the, uh, the boulder far enough ahead, so I'm gonna have to push it back. Okay, that should be a good position. And uh, there we go. Yeah, we go forward. You. Oh dang it! Didn't get far enough ahead again. Uh. Okay, and Boop. there. No. Mm, current. <laughs> If I had a better star spin, I would be able to handle that with ease. And this must be where Starly rejoins on the Starfy Trail. Alright, and judging from that way that border looked, yep, it's another current. And another boulder. <laughs> uh, another Starly area. Uh, got a wall kick to get up there. Get forever. Oh, wait, do I... I didn't need that? Is... This boulder is really just here to be... In your way. <sighs> well, I mean, it, it wouldn't be in your way if you didn't push it ahead. But how would you know you're not supposed to push it ahead unless you, oops, unless you start, um, you know, unless you look ahead. But if you look ahead and find that you need the boulder, then you'd have to go back for the boulder. So you're better off starting off by taking the boulder along with you to begin with. So, uh, <sighs> I swear, just the areas with the boulders, not the most well thought out. <laughs> Otherwise, everything else in this game is really polished. Mm -hmm. Yay! Um, let's see. Yep, it's a heart gem. Woo! We gotta collect one more to get my health up and switch back to Mo. Gotta make sure our treasure sniffer is sniffing at his best. Nope, go. Nope. Mm. Okay, another treasure chest here. And I'm pretty sure it's... yeah, it's off to that side, but you gotta do some uh, uh, fancy stuff to get there. You gotta go uh, through one of these. I think it's this one, actually. Yeah, you actually gotta go to the right in order to go back over to the left. So you gotta sh get shot over to this direction. And you can get a bunch of pearls here. Woo! But gliding and collecting pearls, like three sections at a time. Let's just say three rolls at a time. Let's clear out the pearls, I suppose. Pocket change is good. And I'll get that on my way back. Oh, wait. That, oh, it doesn't go any further. Whoops. <laughs> it's Old Man Lobber's Diary. I reckon I've been impressed by Starfy's power. He's grown a bunch since the last time I saw him. See, he did see him before. I was right that they they uh, met before in some way. He just might take over for his daddy as King of Puffed Up. If he can lay off the naps, that is. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why they acted like they didn't see him before I don't know maybe it's maybe because of the, the localization of the game they're like well we gotta make it look like this is the first game in the series or something like that I don't know <laughs> maybe but that's that's my only idea behind this but in, in fact there's four other Starfy games uh, three on the Game Boy Advance one two and three and uh, number four on the DS and then this game came along which was the only one that was localized uh, I mean, not localized, but it was the only one that was released outside of Japan. Anyway, let's go over to 2-6, and hopefully there won't be any more boulders. There's water, 
but that's kind of natural in this game. By the way, the music in this area is so nice. I really love the song in this this level. It's probably my uh, favorite song in the game, actually. But please, no boulders. I beg of you, no boulders. <laughs> that's it's not too much to ask of you, because it seems like wherever, wherever there's a boulder segment, you didn't know how to design the game. <laughs> All right. Obviously, I can't get all these without looping around again. Uh, you can loop around just by going through here, which I guess I'll show you just once. You can see it leads you back over here. I'm not going to go back around this loop more than just this one time, because this is pretty time-consuming, so yeah. I'm just gonna move on past this. And fall. Just make sure you get a lot of big pearls. They're the ones that are worth the most. There we go. Uh, upsy daisy. Upsy doodle. Uh, I think th that treasure chest is on another lower path. Oh, come on. <clears throat> like, probably down here. Yep, that's what I thought. Ooh, I got a copy of Puff Top Times Clipping. Puff Top. As a response to the recent chaos in Hacha Springs, Papa Star, beloved king of Puff, Puff Top, has announced a show featuring the squirts. Hopefully the show will go on without interference from the hot spring snapper. Hopefully indeed. I mean, we, we made him explode, so he should be done for now. <laughs> Alright, oh, I mean, should I say he's done for good? <clears throat> I mean, he has a lot of combustion in him, so when we defeated him, it just went out of control and he just exploded everywhere. It was just a massacre of turtle pieces everywhere. What's this? Just another big pearl, which I guess is nice for buying stuff, I suppose. But that's not exactly what I'm looking for. And yeah, actually, maybe they're all just big pearls in here. I could have swore that some of them may contain small pearls as well. That's why I said in the earlier part that they may contain big pearls or other things, but maybe they just do contain big pearls, or I'm just getting really lucky uh, from the drops regarding them. That big pearl again. Oddly, there's not a lot of information on this game. Like, there's a Starfy wiki, but it seems rather incomplete overall in terms of uh, total information. So a lot of the stuff is uh, um, stuff that I've come up with on my own, you know, like through experience and play and whatnot. And I am not going to miss out on this, because Starfy's, I mean, a mole sniffer is going like crazy. And Starfy's heart gem is right down here, which will increase our hearts by one, because we got three now. Watch it go. Sweet! And back to Mo. And end of the stage right here. Let's get out of here and finish off the Hotcha Springs as best we possibly can. Because remember, we can't finish 2-2 just yet until we go back... Uh, with a special move that we get later on. So let's head on over to 2-7 and start it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get all the treasure chests except for that one at... Uh, wow, you can really combo the enemies here. <laughs> except for the one at 2-2, uh, uh, so yeah. You can uh, get your hearts... Uh, improve hearts upgraded by this time in the game if you've been following along, so that should make things a little bit easier on an already easy game, or I should say it's easy on the early game, it gets much, much harder later on, and wow, that the boulders fly pretty high up, they don't go down very far. <laughs> like, which, where do I want to get this boulder to? Not here. Wow, you could, like, combo these enemies infin infinitely for pearls. See, when you when enemies respawn quickly in an area like this, and they're tightly packed together, you can keep chaining enemies and just keep getting pearls like this over and over and over again in a continuous chain, and you can max out your pearls relatively quickly. Well, as quickly as you can grind for anything in this game, I guess you could say. Anyway, as you can tell, Mole's got a different look in his eyes here, which means that there's something new that we are going to discover soon. I think it's up ahead. Yes, it is. I gotta break my way into it. Eh, eh, mm. Look at that. It's something for Monstar. And it is... 
another one of Bunstar's powers. It powers up Monstar, of which we are going to see very shortly. A little cutscene. Belch out even more ferocious cloud of flames. So even the transformations Bunstar, I mean Bunstun has, I'm using all sorts of star puns now thanks to him. <laughs> But even his transformations have little upgrades that you can find. There's one upgrade per uh, per transformation. As you can see, there are four transformations right here, and the star indicates whether or not it's been upgraded or not. So be on the lookout for those sorts of powers. Oh, anyway, I gotta go back to Mo. <laughs> Don't forget about Mo. Never forget about Mo. Woo! Hold up. All right, just moving on past those easily chainable enemies, and we get to try out the power of humongous flames. Yeah, it's even more powerful than it was before, and it was already pretty dang powerful. <laughs> oh yeah, moving it, I mean, cutting it right through the ground with the flames, it just sort of like hugs the ground when you push down from a flat surface, uh, and then it goes down the hill automatically, except when you start going on the hill, did you notice that? Like, if you were to point down here, it stops there, but when you hit the hill, it goes down automatically. See that? And now I'm going to leave my head the same way and simply push right. Now it goes up again. I don't know why that does that. I get, just uh, the way the game's physics work, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the way the flame physics works. Alright. Now you can even hit the enemies up on top above you, which is a demonstration of its powers as well, which is why it's laid out like this. I think the door is... Oop, so it breaks stuff. Yeah! Because it's lots of pearls. I'm sure the door is coming up soon, though. So we won't be able to use this for much longer, sadly. But don't worry, there will be more Monstar transformations later on. Um, do I want to go up here first? Or do I want to go down there? Um, I think I want to go up here first. Because there's the way back here. Let's see, what's down here? Is there anything of importance down here, or did I just come down here for nothing? I came down here for nothing. Isn't that great? <laughs> well, back up I go. Well, I guess it's not for nothing, because you got to see what was down there at least. Nothing! <laughs> That's just there to sort of be like, well, you fell down there, now you gotta go back to the start, sort of thing. Is that it for the area? It seems like that's it for the area. I'm gonna get those pearls, yeah! Cleared out this area pretty well, I think. So let's get out of here. And... Another treasure chest around this area. I think it's actually up there somewhere. Um, up toward the left, was it? No, that was pearls. Hmm, well I can get those pearls via the glide ability now. But I would like to know where that treasure chest is. Isn't this the... Oh, new enemy. It's like a, a ferret sort of thing. It's uh, <laughs> a splatch. That's what its name is. And it's... Oops. It, that's pretty much as, what it does, as far as I can tell. It's a pretty... It, it's like one of those kinds of enemies that pop up out of the ground to block your path. Then you gotta bust them out of your way, so to speak. It's just... Get, 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 blah, blah, blah. Because you know it's... Uh, a tall enemy and it can be used to block the path. Anyway, treasure chest. Treasure chest. Wherefore art thou treasure chest? That should be a play. Hmm. Must look for treasure chest. Must. 100% game. Must avoid plunger until I find treasure chest. There's the treasure chest! Woo! I got the Squirt Handbook of Rules and Regulations, Volume 2. So let's see the other ones uh, that were added to the first two that we've seen a couple parts back. Boss has been in the business for years. You do what he tells you. And check out this the special hot spring, Squirts Only. That's a... Uh, uh, I don't know if that's really good rules. I mean, not questioning authority can be kind of an issue at times. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, let's see what's over to the upper right side, because we know that the the spring to end the level is down on this side, so let's go up above the surface and... Oh wait, is this it? Is this really it? Yeah, that's it. 
So I guess there really wasn't much left to see, huh? Alright, to the end of the level? <laughs> and with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.